Trying to match their conference win total from a season ago. They're also trying to match their overall win total from a season ago. Nine wins this season, eight conference wins, ten wins last Throw it in. Fritchie. Now taken away. McHenry with it. Here it is. Wilding. Cavell Smith to the MCK logo. Quick touch pass. Ridsdale looking for Smith. Leaves it back. Now to the near sideline for Cassidy. Fritchie. Quick pass. Wilding. Trying to center for Smith. Ball ricochets right back to him. The 10 goals against. Had a .98 goals against average last season for the Knights. They're enjoying more success this campaign. Only four losses in comparison to seven last season. Near side is Wilding in front of his own bench. And then Jordan Beckles, who make him off their bench. He's from St. Louis and Desmet. So a bunch of St. Louisans, and we know how good St. Louis soccer it is. Could see a bunch of those guys in this game, as many as seven or eight. Jan Peters is getting ready to check in. He's a freshman from Germany. I haven't seen a whole lot of Peters this year. 6-1 midfielder. Getting set to check in. In fact, Jan Peters has only played in nine games. Has... Leaves it for Wilding. Back to midfield near side outside the numbers. Cassidy, Fritchie touch pass. Wilding. Goes side to side for Smith. That is ninth goal this season. Ridsdale leaves it for Jan Peters. To the MCK logo, Williams. A horizontal pass near side for Cassidy. And now Wilding sends it ahead on the turf for Ridsdale. Back to Eddie. Wilding jukes right, veers right. Passes outside the hash to the right for Hildebrand. Now back to Wilding. Sends it all the way to the near side in front of the own bench of McKendry. Williams, half no score. Wilding plays it to the far side. No score. Ball played ahead to Wilding. Near side Cassidy. Back to Wilding. Leaves it for Williams. Action. Wilding will take the restart and he decides to pass it backwards to Baldega. Ball finds Wilding again. Right side Smith. Cavell. Outside the near hash, Wilding. Ridsdale back to Wilding. Eddie off the foot of a night. Wilding winds up. Shot deflected. And it spins out of bounds. And it's going to be a corner kick for McKendry. Blake Hunter, the goalie, was trying to keep that in for Bellerman because he knew that shot was deflected off one of his defenders. Was unable to do so. McKendry gets a corner kick on the right side. They sent it in quickly. Here's a cross. Headed up and out. Wilding. Fritchie back to Wilding. Right on top of the numbers near side. Veers right, passes right. Backwards to Hildebrand. Pressure applied by Bellerman to Wilding. Now to Baldega. Baldega wearing a headband out there on the far side. Freshman from Colorado. Wilding centers Ridsdale. Outside the fort hash. So the wall, 10 yards away, proves vital for Bellerman. Ball sent back in by Baldega. On the numbers near. Williams. Left side for Peters. Now a horizontal cross to the near side for Hildebrand in front of the Bellerman bench. Those two guys, Joseph Becker and also Jordan Beckles for Bellamy.
The two Bellarmine goals, Kai Kowalt lofts it in to the box. Falling down is Kuala as he was able to get ahead on it. Fell down and McHenry has it left to right. Wilding outside the center circle to the outside far numbers for Fritchie. Out of Ridgedale. He fell 5-0. UND scored three goals in a 12-minute span. Here's Wilding for McKendry. Pushes ahead right side for Ridgedale. Wilding will take this. In for Plant, back to Wilding. Centers for Ridgedale. He's knocked down. Here's Wilding. Centers Fritchie. 37 and a quarter left to go in the first half. Scoreless. Wilding far side. Trying to center for Smith, it gets through, but a save is made to his right by Quella. Diving right back to Robley, near side outside the numbers. Near the corner area, goes to Smith. Cavell to Wilding. And he tries to dribble through a defender, now his shot is deflected. Wilding's going to wind up again. And now he shoots and he scores! Eddie Wilding with a goal, and McKendry leads 1-0. Under 25 to play. In the opening half here at Lehman Field, 1-0 Bearcats. Wilding has the ball. He has the only McHenry goal. Smith lets it go through for Ridsdale. Now it's sent all the way back to Williams. Williams at the 35, knocked off balance. Stays on his feet, though. Smith. Two Robley on the outside. Now to Wilding. Wilding to Williams, leaves it for Wilding. Oh, a nifty pass right there. And 3-3 three and three in the GLVC. Pass is centered for Wilding. Far side right, Hildebrand. Outside the numbers near his side, here's Dominic. Changes his direction to Wilding. Wilding to Ridsdale. Looking for Wilding too far though, to the goalkeeper, Quella. Their goalkeeping has been okay. Quella has a 275 goals against average, not great. But just like baseball run support, he hasn't had any goal support. Wilding looking for Smith, and he kicks it away right in. Now their games around the GLVC today. UW Parkside is at Kentucky Wesleyan. Lewis is at Southern Indiana. Drury at Quincy. Rockhurst at Maryville. Missouri S&T at Illinois Springfield. And goal for St. Joseph's. One to one. Eddie Wilding, the unassisted goal for McHenry. And an unassisted goal by Kevin Amizo for St. Joseph's in that first half. During the first 45 minutes, is extremely vocal. Now he kicks a water cup in frustration. Not afraid. Here's a shot. Good deflection there by Ridsdale. Well done. McHenry looking for the sweep today. The women won 5-0 earlier. Now back to Plants. Centered for Wilding. Outside right here is Ridsdale. He Plant, Ridsdale, back to Hildebrand in front of the St. Joe's bench. Hildebrand to Fritchie. Fritchie to Wilding. Not a Ridsdale.
Brown settles with his right foot. Centers for Wildy. Wildy looking for Smith. Doesn't really have him, though. Now he finally feeds it to him. Here's Cavell racing forward. Can't get a good shot. Down the area. Wildy looking for Smith left side. Doesn't use him, though. Just dribbles ahead. Now he gets a shot off the Armistead. That was off the head of Vaniger. Wilding. A touch pass ahead for Plants. Plants racing across midfield for Cerna at the MCK logo. Leaves it behind him for Wilding, who chips it deep into the left corner for Smith. Smith, a touch pass Cerna. Looks at Cavell. Doesn't give it back to him, though. Here's Wilding. Great looking young freshman. Poked away Williams. Out to Wilding, touch pass Cerna. Cerna dumps it ahead. Smith's going to try to track it down. He does. Here's Cavell, one on three right now. He'll step. Now he'll turn forward. He goes deep into the corner, poked away, and this is going to be a throw in for McKendry. Was nearly a corner, but it's a throw in for the Bearcats. Wilding winds up. He shoots and right over the right post. Leaves it for Williams. Tries to center here. Does for Wilding. Now looking far side. Doesn't feed it though to Robley. Now he goes near side here to Wilding. Right outside the numbers. Wilding moves inside the numbers to the left. Wilding leaves it for Smith. Lampert ahead off the head of Fritchie. Back to Wilding. He has Ridgedale. Doesn't give it to him. Centers it for Williams. Leaves it back for Cassidy. Far side left here is Wilding. Under three left to go in the first half. No score. Near side, Hildebrand after a down by Quincy. Here's Fritchie winning that 50-50 ball. Well done. Wilding has plenty of separation right here. He chips it forward. Inside, centers to the MCK logo. Williams to the outside of the right. Here's Wilding. Wilding pushes it forward. Right outside the numbers. Through ball right side, Hildebrand. He's trying to center. He does. Seen some shoving. And as I said, it wasn't that shippy early on, but as this game has gone on, it's been more and more. Smith trying to track it down. He does.